What is up guys? My name is Master Peach with the second upload today. Oh my god. Two uploads. If you guys are watching this on the day that it went live, I uploaded it. I'm actually uploading twice today. Holy smokes. Holy cow. But anyways guys, we're here with the Master Pikachu Talks. This is a segment on the channel where I just talk about random things, though the random things about life that you will come, you know, into um, in daily things, uh, rare things, and all sorts of stuff like that. I am your host, Master Pikachu. Blah, blah, blah. You guys have heard this. You guys have not watched a series on my channel. I have a playlist. I don't I don't know if I have every single Master Pikachu talks in there, which is something that I gotta do. But, as you guys can tell from the title, I just recorded an update video. If you guys have not go, um, have not watched that, go ahead and watch that. It's probably a pretty good video. Probably, I don't know, it's an update video. But this is gonna be more of an in-depth video, so I hope you guys do enjoy it discussion because you guys usually do enjoy these types of videos and i'm really happy about that i mean some of these master Pikachu talks get a lot of feedback between me and you guys and it's really cool to see and i really do enjoy recording these so I, i'm gonna keep it the, i'm gonna keep the train going so as you guys can tell for the title once again i think i've done this before but trying new things can be freaking scary and i'm coming at you guys from a small youtube um, youtuber standpoint and a no, a kid, basically. And the reason I'm recording this at this time and at this moment, because next month is October, and you guys know October is the month of the dead. You know, Halloween uh, is, um, you know, very, very um, related to, uh, it's always associated with to Halloween and um, October and stuff like that. All sorts of stuff like that. So, I'm going to be doing a segment on my channel next month where I'm going to be playing a lot of horror games. I'm going to probably kickstart the horror games on my channel and stuff like that because I know people enjoy seeing me rage so hey see me scared it's probably like buku views right there but anyways guys um I'm going on to this point of my channel where I'm transitioning into a new thing and you know it, it, like even though it, it may seem small but a lot of planning goes into um a lot of these series like editing the the thought process the views the number of views I think we'll get is it worth my time um, how I would do it, stuff like that, that people, you know, that aren't the, uh, that, that's a funny thing about, I'll tell you about that, um, about the whole industry and like, like art process and a lot of process in general, a lot of people that don't do, um, the job or, you know, edit or whatever, um, whatever you have you, a lot of people that don't do the job are usually the ones like, oh, this is easy, but when you actually do it, it's a lot harder, so that's why, Doing these things like uh, doing new things on my channel or going into a new subject on my channel can be a little bit difficult. It can be a little bit difficult because, hey, I don't know if it's going to do good. I don't know if I'm going to get bad uh, feedback. I don't know if this, this, and that is going to happen. But, hey, that's how things are. That And that's a very funny thing um, about transitioning new things. It can be scary, but at the same time, exciting. It, it's kind of like a balance of things. It's funny. Um, I'm really excited on the ha other hand because like, hey, I get to play new games in China. I get you guys, um, me, some viewer interaction and shit. That's, that's freaking awesome. I can't, I can't appreciate, I can't appreciate that anymore. That's freaking awesome. You know, me and you guys interacting with each other, that's just, that's top-notch stuff right there. But at the same time, I don't know if I'm going to get good views on this. I don't know if I'm going to do this. Like, that that's where anxiety comes in. And that little part of your brain, like, I know a lot of artists I know, they always tell themselves, or a lot of smart people I know. And it's like, I think it's just a part of the human brain that just tells us that this is not enough, you know, or I'm not going to do well. And this part of the brain makes us have anxiety and makes us, you know, uh, lack confidence in ourselves. And because of this, this is where the... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do this or the doubt, the self doubt, and eventually people not doing it. But I'm gonna go full ahead because I enjoy this um the whole YouTube thing. It's been going pretty steady um steady so far. You guys have been amazing. This whole experience has been amazing. So don't even get me started. Um, and that's another thing. Um, I'm not gonna let some views or something stop me from doing what I love to do. If I love to do something with my mom, my dad, a lot of all my elders always tell me, when you love something, don't let somebody stop you. Don't let something stop you. Unless that something is like literal God himself that's telling you, boy, you're gonna get yourself killed. Stop. I don't see a problem with it. Just keep going with you what you love. And I'm not gonna lie. Did my computer just like, 
My computer just lagged. Did you guys see that? I hope you guys didn't see that. Oh, God, we got some Halloween deja vu up in here, man. Okay, but anyways, that was horrifying. My freaking computer just lagged, like, a lot. Actually, let me look at this. That was horrifying. <laughs> that was horrifying. But anyways, um, like, it's, it's a weird feeling. If you guys ever, like, it's like playing a new instrument or um, learning how to sing or anything like that or trying a new style or getting a new haircut. With doing these different things, you have confidence in yourself. Well, the minute that you step out into the real world, you realize, wait a minute, what if somebody doesn't like this? What if this happens? What if this happens? That's when anxiety comes in. That's when self-doubt. And like, it happens to everybody. It happens to everybody. It's okay. Like If you guys feel bad about that happening to you, it's a natural human emotion. Um, do I feel like that? Yes, I feel like that about a lot of things in my life. And it's fine. I mean, everybody goes through that. And sometimes... You know, you, you might always feel like that because it's just how it works. I mean, maybe you, maybe you, I mean, maybe you're mature to a certain point, but still, you can always feel like that if you try something different. Maybe you, when you get older, like, oh, I'm, I'm so mature when you get older. You can still feel anxiety when you get older. So just, you know, just because you matured or anything like that doesn't mean that you're instantly better. So keep that in mind. I'm not gonna lie, trying new things, trying to be different, and that's also another thing that goes along with it. That's that's another thing I'm gonna talk about in this video. Um, trying new things and trying to be different, you know, standing out. And you know, the funny thing in this world, <laughs> you know, the funny thing in this world is the people who stand out, you know, do their own thing, groove to their own tune, are the people that get ridiculed, the people that, in history in general, I mean, it's, it's crazy. I mean, I, I, I always go back to history itself. When I talk about history, I always go back to the Roman times and all this different people I studied and because, hey, that stuff comes in handy while I'm making YouTube videos. So maybe I should thank my freaking social studies teacher. What do you know about that? But anyways, um, I remember, I can't remember his name. He was a Roman philosopher. He preached... To the Romans, like when the Romans still believe, I think it was Romans or Greeks, it was somebody back then. Romans, Greeks, uh, freaking SpongeBob, it was somebody. It was somebody back then. He preached to the people on the streets. He got sick of it. He, he was a philosopher. He said the gods aren't real. Our, our, our freaking math is fake. This is the way it's supposed to be. And most of the stuff that he said was somewhere close to how we have things today. So the people that think outside the box, the people that you know, try to be different, get ridiculed sometimes. But as the world has been changing, especially in 2017 now, these are the types of people, artists, so-called, um, not, not offending anybody. These are the type of people that will lead our world because they're the people that, that think, that think outside the box, you know, that actually use their brain and apply that to the situation, not the people that just are robots and are stick to this one schedule. The people that can actually contribute to society by thinking and not just doing nothing basic not nothing but you guys might know what I mean working like a robot you know it's funny you know trying to be different and trying to do something new can also go in the same thing I'm not trying to say it's the best all the time trace trust me trust me I am I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm a hipster but I am I am not with trends today I like, I just looked up a new eyebrow trend. It looked disgusting. I I do not I look at my freaking thick eyebrows. Extra thick, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not a type of person that likes trends. Don't get me wrong. Try, not everything that's new or some, some everything that's different is good. I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, give it a chance. You know, it, it, the funniest thing, I was talking to my mom about this the other day. The funniest thing. You know, people, I can't remember his name, but the person that, you know, thought up of the theory of Pangea, the scientists were like, boy, they, they boyed him so hard. They were like, boy, this is not a thing. This is, can never be a thing. But after um, the theory came out, they went back and like, whoa, this could be a thing. And now we have Pangea today. We studied and studied it, and now we have Pangea today. So 
that's another thing. Keep your mind open to new things and trying new things. Don't keep yourself blocked up and limited. I mean, that's the, that's the beauty of life itself. I mean, that is legit the beauty of life. We can do whatever the freak we want to. So, in most situations. If you can, if you can I'm sorry. But in a lot of people's situations, we can do almost infinity amount of things. There's an infinity amount of combination that we can do it throughout the day. So, don't keep yourself limited to doing more than one thing. Try new things. Even though it may, may be scary, even though it may be horrifying to you, please, try to do new things. I mean, I understand the feeling of being scared of trying new things. Trust me. I'm a YouTuber. I mean, I just want to do when I grow up. And th maybe the YouTube economy changes. Maybe this changes. I mean, heck, Man, the world may be, may be gone by the time I freaking get 30 years old. Who knows? But I must keep going to only, not only improve myself, but the people and communities and the world around me. And moving forward and trying new things and learning new things can maybe push society for it itself. I mean, all the people that thought about new things and thought outside the box and questioned things. And I, I feel sorry for that. I'm going to reference my social study teachers again. Uh, last year, she freaking, she despised me because I asked so many questions, but the people that asked them a lot of questions in life in the past, the people that question everything, the people that said, why is this the way, and that's what I do, I'm not trying to say I'm some kind of philosopher, I question everything, I don't believe anything, you can't fool me, I see everything, I see everything, um, I don't see everything, that's just a metaphor, but, um, I question a lot of things because I question why things are the way they are, and I question, you know, why, like, why do I have to do this? What is this for? What is this functionality? Because, like, like when I do math, like, when I do math, right, when I do, like, I don't know, some subject in math or some lesson in math, like, what is this for? What is this function, what is this function for? So I know how it works, you know, I know it's purpose, and that, that purpose gives me a purpose to keep moving forward. So thinking outside the box and thinking different, trying new things is a thing, like they come in one big bundle in a way. But I'm not trying to say that it's good all the time. I'm just saying that it's necessary most of the time. I I'm just saying that's necessary most of the time. I'm not saying it's good all the time. I mean, I see a lot of trends. I see a lot of people trying to do new things just to be cool. And trust me, I, I hate it as much as you do. But <laughs> I don't hate it, but I despise it as much as you do. But that does not give us the right, as people, as the other people, as human beings, as li not even just as people, human beings, as living creatures, is our birthright to try and explore new things. I mean, maybe one day we'll get pushed against the wall, you know, the only thing that we can do is try something different. At the end of the day, you never know if it works, if you don't try it. That, I'm just saying. And I love doing these videos with you guys so much because... I get to get all these thoughts, because I have so many thoughts in my head. You know, all these Master Pikachu talks, these come, like, these poop out of my ear, and, like, these poop out of my freaking brain, and I write it on a piece of paper, I'm like a freaking mad scientist. I have loads of paper in my book bag of just Master Pikachu talks, video ideas, um, universe concepts. I be getting woke, man. I be in the middle of freaking, I be in the middle of freaking, like, Class, I be getting woke. I be having theories about the universe, and that's what I'm saying. Think outside the box. You know, when you guys get pushed against the wall or something like that, there's always a way to solve something. When somebody tells you there's only one way to do something, there's only one way to be, and that's the only, there's only one way to be in a way, and that's who you want to be. Hey, I just kind of blew my mind a bit. Hey, hey, see, I'm, bl I'm blowing my mind like that. And I said, there's only one way to be. It's like people say, it's only one way for a boy to be. It's only one way for a girl to be. And that's who you want to be. Just saying. But I love doing these videos for you guys because my my, my mind be getting blown. That's my me talking. And you guys, um, I feel like people have asked me in the past. I don't create scripts, people. I don't want you guys thinking I create scripts. No, I don't create scripts. I'm... It, it'll, it would be... It would be sloppy. It would be horrible. No, no, no. I would be sloppy. I'm actually a pretty good writer. I'm just ain't trying to create no skills. because I'm lazy. Um, but really, I love doing these videos because it gets not only, you know, a uh, no, discussion between me and you guys, but 
uh, you know, the feelings and emotions off of my own chest and off of my own person, and that makes me feel better. It really stress. It just, it's good all around. So, thank you guys for watching the video so much. I really did enjoy recording this one um, of all the, the last couple of weeks, but hey, if you guys are not subscribed today, make sure to leave a like, subscribe down below to become a mini Pichu today, a part of the Master Pichu Army. But if you guys are looking forward to the next Master Pichu Talks, once again, as your host, I upload this every single week. Um, at least I try to. But anyways, fam, see you guys next one. I am woke right now. Like, I'm shook. I'm finna go right. I'm finna, I'm literally finna go. You see that over there? Oh, that's not, that's not paper. But you see that over there? I'm finna go freaking right in that thing because I have all sorts of ideas. Video ideas, too. But anyways, I'll see you guys next one. Peace out, my mini Pichus.